It is my responsibility to declare the party's nominee for Eglinton Lawrence, someone we all know will contribute greatly, not just to the team that will carry Tim Hudak to government, but someone who will help turn Ontario around, back to the leadership role it deserves. <laughs> Using the blue cards that you were provided at registration, please signal your support of our next MPP, your PC candidate for Eglinton Lawrence, Rocco Rossi. I had a long history in the other colour, in the other team. But at the end of the day, politics at its best is about public service and not party service. And what Ontario needs... <laughs> and what Ontario needs and what Ontario is going to get with your efforts is change under a Tim Hudak PC government. I had the great honour, the great opportunity to go from one corner of the city to the other. To knock on doors with amazing people like Councillor John Parker. And what that taught me was what it is that everyday people expect and need of their government today. They told me that they want a government that works as hard as they do. They want those same values that my parents instilled in me from a very young age. To work hard and anything is, is possible in this city, in this province, in this country if you do that. What I saw in way too many communities was that dream is not being held to the same level by everyone in the way that it was before. I grew up with not very much money. We had many people living in my uncle Gaetano's house, but we never once thought where we were was where our family was going to end up. We always believed that through hard work with helping one another, we could reach for the stars. We need to give that dream back to Ontario. What Torontonians told me is they want value for their money so that we have money for the things that we value. It's not very complicated. They work hard, they want to see their governments work hard. They don't want to hear about a billion dollars being wasted in e-health. They don't want to hear about green energy, not because they don't want green energy, they want it. They want renewable energy. But when they hear stories about after a program is launched, people realizing these farmers putting up solar panels and then being told, um, we're sorry, we don't actually have a grid that would take the energy in. So you kind of made a mistake. A mistake that's going to cost some people their retirement savings. A mistake that if we try to correct it, will end up costing greater than the benefits coming from these smaller projects. So it's not about not doing it. It's about not doing it incorrectly. And that's what we expect of our governments. To think about their choices. To have a plan. The point is, people want change. People want better. People deserve better. And it was that great Indian thinker, Mahatma Gandhi, who said, be the change that you expect and want to see. Well, I am being the change I want to see. I change to become a progressive conservative in Ontario because Ontario deserves a progressive conservative government. And I want to be part of a government 
that does not take Toronto for granted. I want a government that knows it's got to have to fight for support and respect in this city. I am passionate about this city. I am passionate about bringing much needed change. And I am incredibly proud to be your representative. I can't do it alone. I need you. I need you to volunteer. I need you to talk to your friends. I need you to donate what you're able to donate. I need you to talk to other people. I need you to feel and see and visualize the victory that we're going to have here and across this city and across this province on October 6th. On the evening of October 6th, with your help, with your power, with your passion, we will win in Eglinton Lawrence, we will win in Toronto, we will win in Ontario, bring much needed change and a Tim Hudak progressive conservative government to Ontario. Thank you very much.